Hi everyone and welcome to story time at Bradford Can't Watch Rescue with Mr Tumble and Mr Tumble's guest tonight is TJ Ted. Mr Tumble goes to bed with Teddy every night and if he can't find Teddy then he doesn't go to bed. We hope you've all had a lovely weekend um, and done some nice things. We've had quite a busy weekend um, and quite a sad weekend as well. We heard late last night that one of our lovely friends and supporters sadly, sadly died. Um, so tonight's story is going to be dedicated to Maggie Preston, who was the most fearlessly generous, kindest person we've ever met. And especially when it comes to cats. She had four cats herself and they are going to be looked after. And we we just send our condolences out to Maggie's family, especially Jonathan, Lisa and Mick. So we are going to read tonight's story. I think Mr Tumble might be asleep by the end of it because he's exhausted today. He has been playing. He's been outside for half an hour as well. And tonight's story can keep your eyes open Mr Tumble is Goodbye Mog and whilst you think this might be a really sad story as the story goes on you realise it's not that sad at all I've told Mr Tumble it's not very sad um, so him and TJ Ted are going to listen to this story now so you may have read this before, it's um, quite a famous book, but it's one of my favourites. Mog was tired, she was dead tired, her head was dead tired. Her paws were dead tired. Even her tail was dead tired. Mog thought, I want to sleep forever. And so she did. But a little bit of her stayed awake to see what happened next. What happened next, Mr Tumbell? What happened next was that everybody wept. Oh, why did Mog have to die? Wept Debbie. She was so lovely. Wept Nikki. Well, she was quite old, said Mrs Thomas. Then she wept too. Even Mr Thomas wept. He said... She was our family pet. We'll all miss her. Well, of course they'll miss me, thought Mog. They'll never manage without me. But it's quite true. I was very lovely, said Mog. After this, nothing happened for some time. Debbie and Nicky talked about her. Remember how she used to hang her tail in front of the telly? Said Nicky. Like this, you mean, thought Mog. But the telly shone right through her. You see her there? She used to come into our beds said Debbie. And look, here I am, thought Mog. But nobody looked. Mog thought, they can't see me. Just there, look. You see Mr Tumbel? You see Mog in the bed? Then suddenly, one day, there was a kitten in the house. Mrs Thomas said, 
its mother couldn't look after it, so I said I would. It will be our new family pet. Mog thought, this kitten is very small, and Mrs. Thomas said, are you sure it's big enough? The kitten was frightened of everything. It was frightened of noise. It was frightened of newspaper. It was frightened of bags. And was very frightened of being picked up. Oh, she looks really scared, look. Oh dear, said Mrs Thomas. It's not much of a pet, is it? said Mr Thomas. Mog thought, this is the wrong sort of kitten. Just give it some peace, said Mrs Thomas. And play something quiet while I go to the shops. The kittens had a lot of peace now, said Nicky. You must be getting bored. See the frightened kitten under the table. Perhaps it would like some milk, said Debbie. Well, really, thought Mog, and in my dish too. There's Mog, not looking very happy. Look, shouted Nicky, look where the kitten is. It was a noisy shout. The kitten was frightened of noise. You still see Mog there? You see Mr. Tumble? See Mog? And newspapers and bags. Where's it got to, shouted Mr. Thomas. The kitten's getting out, shouted Mrs. Thomas. Catch it quick, shouted Nicky. Mog thought, this kitten is very stupid. The kitten was not in the garden. Looking all over. You help it to look, Mr. Tumble. It's not in the street. Suppose we'll never find it, said Nicky. It'll be all alone. I knew it, thought Mog. I knew they'd mani never manage without me. They've got themselves the worst sort of Stupid kitten, and now they've lost it. I'm going in. She thought that kitten may be anywhere. Who knows what's happening to it now? Really, thought Mog. It never went out at all. What now? The kitten looked at Mog. The kitten crept up to Mog. The kitten purred. Well, I never thought, Mog. I believe this kitten can see me. Perhaps it's not so stupid after all. Mog did a little jump. And the kitten jumped too. She washed her paw. The kitten washed its paw too. Mog hid under the newspapers. The kitten looked at Mog and Mog smiled. The kitten hid too. The kitten liked playing with the newspapers, Mog thought. This kitten is not the wrong sort of kitten at all. It just needed a little bit of help. Then one of the bags fell over and all sorts of things fell out. Mog and the kitten played with them. Then they played with the bags. 
Suddenly, there was a bang. It was a bang of the door. Whatever has happened here? said Mr. Thomas. Perhaps we've had burglars, said Mrs. Thomas. Nicky said, Why is that newspaper moving? Uh oh. Uh oh, Mr. Tumble. It's the kitten, shouted Debbie. Don't touch it, said Mrs. Thomas. It'll scratch you, shouted Mr. Thomas. Perhaps it won't this time, said Debbie. Come on, Kitty. The kitten looked at her. It didn't move. I only want to stroke you, said Debbie. The kitten still didn't move. Mog thought, this kitten needs a little bit of help. She gave the kitten a little bit of help. The kitten flew through the air. It was very surprised. Look, said Debbie, the kitten likes me. She stroked it. The kitten found it liked being stroked. You like Mr. Tumbal? And it liked being tickled. And it loved to play. I knew it, thought Mog. I knew this kitten only needed a bit of help. It made quite a rumpus, said Mrs. Thomas. That could be his name, said Nicky. We could call it Rumpus. Come on then, Rumpus, said Mrs. Thomas. Let's get you something nice to eat. We've, well, we've really got our new family pet at last, said Mr. Thomas. Debbie said, but I'll always remember Mog. So I should hope, thought Mog. And she flew up and up and up right into the sun. Uh, Mr Tumble, did you enjoy that? So I think it's really important to remember that when we lose a little cat, a dog, a fish, a rabbit, a grandma, a granddad, a mum, a dad or anyone, when we lose someone and when they die, it's okay to love someone else. It's okay to remember. It's okay to be sad. But above all, it's okay that you can love again. Many people get cats, dogs, rabbits, fish, and they think when they've they think when they've died that they can't love again and that it's disloyal, but actually you've got so much love to give that it is okay to love again. So we hope you enjoyed that story. And Mr Tumble and TJ Ted are settling down for the night now. We will be doing story time again next week. This week we will be celebrating International Women's Day. And we will be introducing you to some amazing women, ladies, girls in our lives. So I hope you'll be following us then. So we want to say good night, take care and sleep well. Night night.